So I'm just going to show the work and the answers and then talk through them. And then if you have questions, need to see anything, we can go over that. For number one on S, sorry, 7C, you had to know that zero is another word for x-intercept. So you are only looking for the x-intercept here. Change this to y, change it to zero, start solving for x. Subtract four on both sides, take the reciprocal, multiply it on both sides, and you would get six. So six, zero was our intercept. Questions on that one? Number two, solution is another word for x-intercept. So again, you were only looking for your x-intercept, which was at negative two, zero. If you wrote down your y-intercept there, you can erase that part because you didn't need it for that one. Questions on that one? On 7D, for number one, when you have something like this, I would say either use Desmos, use your calculator, start putting these in individually one at a time, and see which of these go through your x-axis at three. Uh, whichever ones do go through your x-axis at three would be your answers, so these three. Anyone need to see that? I could put all of these in at the same time because I have different colors on my calculator. You probably shouldn't do that because they would all show up as black lines and you wouldn't be able to see which one is which. Number three asks you to find the x and y intercepts, so you have to find both. Doesn't matter which one you do first. For the x intercept, similar to number one on the other side, change this to y, change the y to zero. Solve for x by adding four on both sides and dividing both sides by three. So you end up with a fraction x intercept, sometimes that happens. So four thirds zero would be your x intercept. What's given here because this is in slope intercept form would be your y intercept. Questions on that one? And then number four, it just asks you to circle the y-intercept, which goes right here. I also wrote it as an ordered pair. Questions on any of those? So I did give you your review. I meant to give it to you last class. We're going to go over whatever review problems you want before you guys take your quiz. Yes, you guys have a quiz today. But how you guys do the quiz is going to be different than how we did it last time. I'm going to explain that after we review. Okay, so look at the review that's in front of you. Find what questions you want to go over, have questions about, want to see, because I don't remember, it's been a while, any of those. Do we have one go over two? Starting with number two, this is your objective on slope. This is a horizontal line. So anytime you see or are talking about horizontal or vertical lines somewhere next to it, write your forty bucks. If this is a horizontal line, it's going left and right, what is your slope? Y equals. It will be a y equals if I was writing the equation, but what's your slope? Zero. So m equals zero would be our answer there.
What other questions do we have? This is your time. Look at every objective, every section, something, the question doesn't make sense, the wording doesn't make sense, you're not sure what to do, ask about it. Cast it. Six. For number six and this entire section, you are given two points where you have to find your slope. So you're going to use your slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You can label them if you so choose. And then put each of those numbers into your formu formula. Y2 would be negative 8. We are subtracting another negative 8. All over negative 20 minus 8. And then subtract. See if you can simplify. Negative 8 minus a negative 8 would become a plus. This would become 0. And zero over anything would just become zero. So m equals zero would be our answer. Other questions? Brian. So we're jumping to our intercepts. For 28, it's tying the intercepts and writing together. It gives you your x and y intercept. Plot those two points at 3, 0, and 0, 2. Use your graph to count your slope. So if I start at my y intercept and count to my x intercept, I'm going down 2 to the right 3. After you have your slope, you're given your y-intercept, so you're going to put those two things together in your equation, y equals negative two-thirds x plus two, and that would be your answer. For number 30, or questions like it, you need to identify and write your x and y intercepts. So where does this line cross your x and y axis? So you would label your x and y intercept and write those as ordered pairs. Your x intercept would be at 6, 0. Your y intercept would be at 0, 4. About 28. Because we're going down. Down is a negative. Other questions? graphing section. So you're given this equation. What's your y-intercept here? Zero. It's not given, but you have to know that because it's not given, it's automatically zero. So we're going to start at zero. And then our slope is negative. We have to know what directions will give us a negative slope. So we would go down and to the right or up and to the left, either direction. Does not matter which way you start. 
So we can go up two to the left one as many times as possible. And then back at your y-intercept, go down two to the right one as many times as possible. Once you've filled up your graph, connect the points. Make a line, draw arrows at the end, because lines go on forever and ever. Other questions? None. Going back to slope. This one is asking you to find the slope of this line. This is in slope intercept form. So you just have to know which of these is your slope. The one third is your slope. So you would say m equals one third. Julia. 12. For 12, this is a y equals a number, or even if you saw x equals a number, you should be thinking for bucks. If you have to write that 10 times throughout your quiz, do it. So if this is a y equals, and we're looking for slope, your slope is 0. So m equals 0 would be your answer. So now we're in the writing. 19 through 22, you need the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. For 22, we need to find our slope before we can do anything else using our slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we would find our slope of this first. Negative 1 minus a negative 1 over negative 4 minus 1. Negative 1 minus a negative 1 would become just 0. They would cancel each other out. Negative 4 minus 1 would give us negative 5. But that doesn't matter because 0 divided by anything is still going to be 0. If you got a problem like this, at this point, if you know that your slope is zero and there's only one type of line that has a zero slope, your horizontal lines, you could say this is going to be a y equals, look at what your y value is and your equation would be y equals negative one. But if you didn't recognize that, you would pick one of these points, doesn't matter which one, and put it into that formula. I'm going to do that up here because I don't really have space. y minus, let's say I'm using this one, negative 1 equals my slope is 0, x minus 1. So when I distribute and start to get y by itself, this becomes a plus. If I distribute the 0, all of this is still going to be 0. And I would still need to get y by itself. So subtract 1 on both sides. Nineteen is similar, except now you're given your slope. If you recognize that this is a y-intercept because it's zero comma something, you don't have to do any work. You can just put y equals three over two x minus one. 
But if not, if you don't recognize that, you could still do the work. And put each of these things into this format. Y minus our Y1 is negative 1. Our slope is 3 over 2 times x minus our x1 is 0. This side would become a plus. I could distribute the 3 over 2. This would become 0, so I could put it or I could leave it off. doesn't matter. But then I still got to get y by itself by subtracting to the other side. So y equals 3 over 2x minus 1 would be your final answer. Other questions? Number 20, same thing. This is your x1, y1, m. So you would put it in y minus my y1 is 2 equals my slope. Then in parentheses, x minus my x1. Then we could distribute y minus 2 equals 1x minus 5 and get y by itself by adding 2 to the other side. y equals 1x minus 3 would be our final answer. Other questions? Going once. That's Okay. With this one, because it's at uh, x equals, I'm going to write my whole box again. If this is an x equals, I know it's going to be a vertical line up and down. So along my x axis, I'm going to find where x equals 2. Put a point there, and then draw a vertical line at that point. Other questions? You need to find the x and the line as well. So you're doing both. Do you want me to do that one? Mm -hmm. So if you're doing both, you're going to put zero in for one or the other, not at the same time. So if I'm finding the x-intercept, I'm putting zero in for y. You don't have to put that this is zero. This would be zero. The zero would go away. So I could just put what's left. 5x equals 30. Divide both sides by 5. And then label your order pair six zero. But then you have to do the same thing for your y intercept, but opposite. Now I have to put zero in for x and solve for y. This would become just zero, so we don't have to put it, just put what's left. Solve for y by dividing. And then label that and put it as an ordered pair. Any 
other questions? Nay, did you have a question? No. So. So 15 is in your writing. So we're going to write the equation of this line. It is a vertical line. If it is a vertical line, it has to be an x equals. x is at negative 2, so this would be x equals negative 2. Other uh, questions? Sixteen. Here you would need to find your slope and your y-intercept because there's um, because it's diagonal. Your y-intercept is going to be the easier of the two. Your slope, you just have to find another point on the line. There are a couple. Pick any of those two points and count your slope. So if I'm counting the slope, I'd be going up one, two, three, four to the right one. And then you would put those two things together in the equation. Y equals mx plus b. So y equals 4x plus 3. Other questions? So, previously, when we've taken quizzes, you guys, or previously, just that one time, uh, you guys took it, you came up to me, I checked them, and then the second time you could use your notes. This time, it's a collaborative quiz, so you can use all the minds in this room, except mine, uh, talk to each other, help each other out. You just can't use your notes, um, and you can't use me. Questions about how this quiz is going to work? Yes. You can use your calculator. You can talk amongst each other, correct. Uh, we can use Desmond. Um, we can only use those calculators. Aubrey? Yes, you're allowed to move anywhere you want. Any other questions? Before you guys start moving, I need every single cell phone in a calculator pocket.